This is ABC Learning Management LMS, and we're looking at a, uh, a dashboard of all these classes that are to be held. Uh, and then you can see how frequently and how many registrations there are for each one of the uh, classes that are being held. So before we jump in, I thought I'd jump into this relationship diagram button here in the bottom, and it kind of shows how everything flows inside this application. So we have courses, and these are things that are held many times throughout the year, So, but they're defined here, and the class actually defines the date and who the instructor is for that moment in time, who the location is, uh, or where the location is for that one. And you can see classes, if you're tracking expenses, you can keep track of all the incidentals that are a part of this class. But everything kind of comes together here. So here's a published list of, or a record of all the information that you want to know about the class. Now, how many people are allowed? Maybe it's indicated here that there's only 20 people allowed. So over here, you've got registrations. And notice that this, is, this becomes a child of the class. And for whom are we doing this? Well, in this registration, it's for a particular employee. So that information comes um, together right here. So that's the foundation and flow of this application. So let's go back uh, to the front page here of the dashboard. Now, this is the manager's dashboard of things. If you uh, wish to, you can click and view a, well, I have actually put it in here, the employee's homepage. So here's the employee's homepage. And you've got to be logged in to be able to register for this. And of course, you could co-opt it and make it available for people offline if you, uh, that are not users as well. But the intention of this one was uh, users. So um, as you look down below here, you can see certain classes. And some of them are duplicated, like this one right here. But it's because it's in a different time frame. This one um, is in April. Uh, this one is a week later. So there's, you can have many, many of classes for a particular course of instruction. So this one says you've got a max cl uh, class size of five. And there are four registrations, and it's open. So I'm going to click on Add Registration. And it says your registration is complete. And it will be emailed confirming your registration. And now let's take a look at what happened to that particular class. There's a wait list available. Now, if somebody tries in subsequent requests to do this, they say there is a wait list. Would you like to be put on it, yes or no? So uh, the idea of this monitoring function came about because a customer said, hey, I've got 20 seats for a course we're giving. And I've got two open ones left meaning there's 18 reserved. So I sent it out to our company, and people arrived on their home page. And when they arrived here, a couple of them looked around, while others were adding registrations. Now, there a lot of people had the page up, and it had loaded at the time they arrived, saying that there were enough um, places for people to register. So they thought they were safe. When, in fact, when the page loads, that's the moment it's loaded. But people are looking around, and so the registration button in this scenario, when you press this button, has to check to see if anybody, while you've been doing this, has been um, uh, pressed ahead of time because you don't want to overbook your class. So um, we're going to talk about that button in just a second, but I wanted to go up and, and, and show some of the workflow that's here. So we've got uh, employees here. And here's Cameron Knight. Uh, he's an employee here. Uh, you can see his picture is uh, one of Abraham Lincoln. Um, but down below, he's got one class that he is registered for. And you can see the status is registered. Um, let's move over to the um, courses first. We'll go back up to the course level and take a look at what's defined here uh, at the course level. So this is common to all the classes that this course is a part of. So we can, we've got uh, the expectation of time, which track it's a part of, any prerequisites, the goals, the, the materials, uh, the prerequisites, that kind of thing are in here, as well as documents that may, you may want to distribute to the people that are going to be taking these classes. And you can say in this particular course, the code of um, conduct, 
that it has only been held or is scheduled to be held on this date here in Thaxter Hall by John Thomas Jefferson and the class is expected to have a maximum of 40 the five people have registered zero completed withdrawn blah 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 so uh, all right so let's take a look at the class which is a result of us having this course and the idea of a course is to have a pool of things so here is the uh, information around that one um, you can see there are five registrations uh, there we go there's a max size of 40 right here seats available 35 it's 13 percent full uh, so all the detail that you might think so this class is pulling information from a particular course pulling information about the location and the venue that's uh, that's here who the instructor is going to be and we can see all of the registrations that have come before this thus far no expenses uh, as of yet but you can add expenses to this if you wish to and then the dollars and cents will roll up so uh, if you wish to you can change um, the override you can say uh, this is automatically um, open right now. Um, if you manually wanted to close it, you could. If you wanted to allow wait list, everything looks normal until they reach the maximum, in which case it kicks in to do the wait list. And now let's take a look at uh, one of the registrations down below here. I'm going to edit this. And when I press that button, what it did was it knew who I was. And so it automatically put me in there. And because the maximum number of seats hadn't been uh, reached, it allowed me to register it. And it fires off an email notification letting me know that I'm signed up for this. So um, now we're back to that small part, but it's an important part of this. What if I press this while other people are just browsing around and I um, get multiple registrations over the maximum limit because of that that problem well inside this button that's here if I edit the field properties uh, what it's going to do and, and there's a, a degree of sophistication here which is wonderful it says uh, first of all it's checking to see if the person is logged in it says if the user to email so the user if they were logged in, it would convert it to an email, and then it would check to see if there's an ampersand in here to be able to tell if they're logged in. If they are logged in, then I want you to take information I know about this, this class, the status, the size, um, the identity of it, the record ID, what database table it's coming from, um, the registration table. It's, it's loading up all this stuff that we're going to need and we're going to ship it over to a page and it's going to be called a JavaScript page called Add Registrations. And, uh, and, and of course there's an else statement in here too. If, it, if they're not logged in it says hey you've got to log in. So let's go take a look at that JavaScript page. So we're going to come back to the main page we're going to click on settings. Now a lot of people won't even use this part of it, so that's okay. Uh, but just so that you know how this works. Okay, so the process here is to take the information that's being passed over in the button and use it. And we're going to create three possibilities here. We've got first a query. We need some information from that button to be able to query to see if the, um, uh, uh, class number seven uh, it, or the yeah that class how many registrations there are thus far okay so we're storing that information into a, uh, a query um, a URL is what we're calling it all right next one is if you're going to use a URL for registration this we're building this one up and you can see it's adding a whole bunch of things and it's going to say registered is the value that it, when we add a, a registration record it's going to say it's registered because it's okay there's another url down below here that says well wait a minute if that is uh so if it's full create a registration with wait list in it so there's another um situation that can happen all right 
so down below the query is run. It takes the information and um, pumps it in. It, uh, it actually will figure out a bunch of information and there are some if statements. If the status is closed, this class is closed, else count the number for the maximum read count and it says do you want to go into the wait list uh, all, all the while. So there's an if, else if, um, else if, and it actually decides which one of these URLs it's going to use. The registration one or the wait list one. So that's uh, some of the background of the ABC Learning uh, Management LMS. And again, you may or may not want to use the, the this functionality, but it sure allows and protects you from overbooking your classes.